Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, August 24th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe we're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. A couple of quick clarifications. First off, the candlestick that you see right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. Stock number one here, ticker symbol VCIG. Big mover today on this one, and now it has pulled back a little bit. But this is where a little bit of perspective comes into play. If you're some sort of day trader, flipper, scalper, whatever you want to call yourself, and you bought right there, maybe you bought the dip right there, and your plan was to buy and sell within 12 minutes, well then yes, from that perspective, the chart looks really, really bad because there has been this deeper pullback. But assuming you care about the bigger picture point of view, the price is actually now starting to potentially reach a very interesting consolidation area right down there at $6.40. You can see in the past, the price has come down there and the bull stepped up both times and bought. So it becomes a very valid question of, can the price come down there and bounce back upwards? That is again, a very reasonable potential scenario. So keep an eye on $6 and 40 cents as that main area of support. In terms of areas of resistance, really the main level right now is all about the tread line here that has formed. So get that tread line in place. And if you want from a pattern standpoint, and this is what I mean about assuming you care about the big picture point of view, in all actuality, what's essentially occurred here is a bull pennant pattern. So sure, it's pulled back from this afternoon, but assuming you care about the bigger picture point of view, there's still plenty of opportunity to build a higher base, and that's what matters most. Next one, AMC, as the stock continues to just get destroyed, obviously, or maybe not obviously, if you're not aware, has been on the news quite a bit, but I like to track it because it's such a big stock. It's a cult stock. It's whatever you want to call it. And when you have cult stocks out there, all it takes is just even for news to not be as bad as what it was supposed to be, and you can get some very, very dynamic movements. But of course, as with the case of, with anything, but especially situations like this, certainly higher risk, so you better be good at managing stop losses and controlling your risk. But under that premise that it's a very popular stock, a cult stock, what makes this interesting here is that, yeah, it got beat down once again today via the gap down, which you can see right there. But at least, and this will mean a bit more of those that have seen or that have been trading for a while, I'm sure you've seen stocks that gap down and then after that gap down, it's just something like this. It just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds the rest of the day. That was not the case here. It at least started to go sideways. Does that mean that for sure guaranteed just because it went sideways that it's gonna bounce? Of course not, if only trading were that easy. But does it become valid? Does it become a plausible scenario and question throughout there of, hey, maybe just maybe the bleeding, the selling pressure is finally over. Maybe just maybe some sort of bounce is finally gonna happen. That is certainly a, you know, a possible scenario and a plausible one. So if you like this price range, if you like call it stocks that have gotten beat down and you never quite know when a good quality dead cat bounce could occur, definitely keep an eye on AMC. Next one here, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, and I'm assuming you understand very quickly why all of a sudden this is on the watch list because you can see that majority of the day Nothing really going on, very minimal volume. And then late day, the volume exploded and the price just absolutely surged upwards. And this is what a watch just is all about, finding unique, finding interesting situations and not rushing out and randomly buying stuff, but watching it and seeing how it continues to play out. So if you find this unique, if you find this interesting, you know, I definitely keep an eye on it. Not really a whole lot of setups right now because it, it's basically gone straight up. I mean, yes, I can point out that pink line there. 200 period moving average being a key level of resistance headed into Thursday. Uh, but it's not like there's any sort of great pattern. But I mean, and not saying this will be the case, but let's say the price maybe pulls back here a little bit and then you can, you know, approach it and do one of these situations. Because, okay, yeah, the price is pulled back, but you did have this explosion upwards here. Oh, look, there's a bull flag pattern. So like I said, no patterns as of right now, but the ingredients are there. Big volume, big volatility and price movement for there potentially to be some patterns that form uh, you know, on Thursday. But yeah, as of right now, explosive move. So it'll be interesting to see if this action carries into Thursday. Next one here, ticker symbol AGIL. Overall, a good solid move, no doubt about it. And now it's pulled back here a little bit, which prompts the question, okay, is this the beginning of the end? Was there any sort of genuine power behind this initial surge? And I have no idea, but by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And it all revolves around this level down here at... 30 cents. Why is 30 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree with the logic that price movements with genuine power are going to make progress forward. Nothing goes straight up, but they're going to at least make progress. Case in point, if the price, you know, came up here and then comes down and then breaks below that level, 
what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would quite literally be putting the price right back inside of that range where it just was. And as I said, that's not really a sign of true power. Price explodes and then goes back to where it was. So once more, not saying that'll be the, a case, but that's why 30 cents matters because on the flip side of things, maybe the price comes down here, bounces around and then starts to go back up. Now, all of a sudden, what do you have? Well, you have a set of lows right here. You have lows right here. And if you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, now you have stair steps making progress in the upward direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is going to do. It's going to make progress. And again, in this situation, quote unquote, progress being defined as 30 cents. Next one here, ticker symbol PTON. I should have put this one by AMC because the same general idea. Granted, I wouldn't say PTON, Peloton is as popular of a stock of AMC, has a big of a cult, but it is still a relatively popular stock, especially back from the COVID days. But just goes to show, this thing was up over like 160 bucks. Now it's sitting down here below uh, six bucks. But anyways, same general idea, relatively popular stock, gap down. And instead of just bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and bleeding, like I know some of you have seen, it did at least start to go sideways. So does this sideways action on a very popular or relatively popular stock mean some sort of bottom in it is in and that there might be some sort of upwards move to come? That seems like a very potential plausible scenario, but again, no guarantee. So that's why risk management management matters. But if you like stocks down below $10 and you like the same general idea of a popular stock getting beat down and now signaling potentially bottoming out, keep an eye on it. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online web class here that I'm offering very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. Or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the web page that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live training. Next one here, ticker symbol APE, the evil stepbrother or stepsister, whatever you want to call it, of ticker symbol AMC. And with all the news, this one uh, is part of all that. And as I speak, you can see it's literally moving down towards the lows of the day. Um, so the selling pressure continues. And now what needs to happen is, well, let me stay here for a real quick second. I didn't need to go that much. But if there is any sort of bounce, main area of resistance has now become very clear right there, that pink line there, 200 period moving average. You can see the price late day on Tuesday, or excuse me, yeah, Tuesday got up somewhat close to it. And then this morning got somewhat close to it. And both situations, the price just could never quite push through. So if there are any sort of bounces back upwards, then yes, that 200 period moving average, again, pink line, gonna be that main area of resistance. As far as next potential supports, this is where I have to squeeze down the chart here a little bit. With the next key level, being down here at that level of $1.72. Let me squeeze so you can see where it's coming from. There we go. So let me also change this to green to represent more support. But you can see back here in the history of the chart, it's been down there and you can see to give credit or credit to, it ha has held before. So that again brings up the question, can history repeat itself here where the price does indeed hold above that level and maybe get some sort of bounce back upwards. In fact, you can see as I speak, the price is now literally knocking on the door of that level. Market closes here in about three minutes. Um, so by the time you watch this, uh, you'll know, you'll and you'll have the answer on whether or not this, in fact, because it's so close, let's map out one more. And you can see not that far away, if that level doesn't hold, then you do have a secondary level right there at about $1.70. So $1.72, $1.70, gonna be those two main areas to watch moving forward. But yeah, not looking like it's a good day here for APE. Next one here, TSLA Tesla, and this, uh, should all sound familiar and mean a bit more to those of you that watched the video yesterday, but talked about that level right there as a support, $231. And overall, looked shaky on the morning. It actually gapped down below that level. And then the bull said, hey, just kidding. And right back up above it, it went, never looked back. And then the second, so moving forward, nothing has changed. 231, still gonna be that main area of support. And then you also have that purple line there, uh, the 50 period moving average. But preferably speaking, if the price can stay above 231, that would be best. And then on the flip side of things, as far as areas of resistance, you've heard me talk about it several times and I'm gonna gotta talk about it again. That 200 period moving average has shown up and that's why it's such a famous level. Look at that. Price got right up that level and what a coincidence, that's where it you know, turned back down. Don't get, don't misconstrue, uh, miscon construe there we got some mouthful what i'm saying i'm not saying that that level can never be broken i'm just saying that you know history is now telling us that apparently you know the, the bulls really are going to need to bring their a game if they're going to be able to push up above that level but all in all another good day here for tesla so we'll see if this upwards trend can continue next one here pltr and again this would mean a tad bit more to those that have watched past videos but if you have then hopefully remember me talking about that resistance area right there and you can see that today price came up there Beautiful breakout through that trend line, got the continuation. So overall, that is the context of today. Very, very solid trend line break. 
So I'm going to zoom in here more so we can talk about really the, the near term dynamic here that's occurring. And that is the pattern that is formed. So yes, big move here, miniature little pullback. But with, with this pullback, you can see nothing crazy or anything like that. Let me change that to green. And then maybe to make it easier to see, let's keep it one color. So we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big upwards move here. For you golfers, we have the golf hole down here. So this would be known as a bull pennant pattern. So if you like bull pennants, you like stocks down below the $20 range, definitely keep an eye on this one. But also remember, this is all within the context of having broken that tread line. So there's some good solid bullish dynamics occurring right now. Next one here, AMD, overall a good day, got up through this area of resistance here, stayed above it. Therefore, that's where the first update comes into play. And that's just based on the rule that when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And that's essentially what happened today when the price originally broke above it, came down here, chopped around this area for a little bit, and then finally got separation back to the upside, which, and I, I didn't realize this, and I don't mean this, but yes. Once again, what a coincidence, brings us to our next point that the 200 period moving average is indeed a level of resistance, as you can see. That's right where it got rejected at that area. So yes, moving forward, that level, and that, that's just why it's a famous area. It's, there's a lot of self-fulfilling prophecy angles that come with it, but right there, a classic example of charts and their power. So I'll turn that into a quick plug. Are charts perfect? No, but they're a very valuable tool. So go get signed up for that free live class. But anyways, simple as that moving forward, 108, in fact, let me just move this, 108.50 key area of support. Key area resistance right there at that 200 period moving average. Next one here, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ market. So if you believe the NASDAQ market is going to rise, this one will also rise. It makes it a very popular ETF. And because the NASDAQ had a very good day today, so did this one from a technical point of view. Price came up here, broke up through that level of resistance that I've talked about. In fact, first, let me just do some house cleaning, get rid of these lines. They've served their purpose for now. And I want to create confusion because there's clutter and lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. But first update, just based on that rule that I've already talked about, when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So $39 is now going to be one of the newer levels of support. Preferably speaking, though, if the price can stay above that pink line. So in this situation, you can see that pink line tried to act as resistance, and it did for a while, but the price has now gotten above it. So best case scenario is the price stays above that pink line. With that being said, don't get me wrong. It's not like if the price falls below the pink line, then the entire chart's destroyed or anything like that. But preferably speaking, if you were to ask, say, you know, ask what would make the chart look the absolute strongest, that would be if the price can stay above that 200 period moving average. If the price does come down below it, then yeah, $39 would be that next key level of support. In terms of areas of resistance, next main battleground gonna be right up here at that area which sits at $40 and 40 cents. So 40, 40, next key battleground moving forward, but all in all, another nice day. And from just a bigger picture point of view, always good to see charts put in these higher bases. And if you envision those as stair steps right there from the bullish side of things, that's the name of the game. So that wraps up the top 10 list. If you like what you saw here, then again, go get signed up for that free class. It'll be very soon, Thursday, August 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment. Those really help out the channel. And you know, I, I really appreciate it. And it's a quick way to give me feedback. And as long as I know you're enjoying, I will continue to put in the time and effort to get this content out to you. So again, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Even if you just say hi and hit, uh, get signed up for that free class. And hopefully I'll be seeing you here very soon.